there everyone welcome back to my channel it is drew here from lone fox and today we have the second little segment of the what would drew do series and if you happen to be unaware of the what would drew do series do not worry i've only ever done one video in the past which i will put up there in a card for you guys to check out but basically it is a series where i help you with your interior dilemmas and today i selected three different spaces from three of you guys from around the world that sent them in and i am just so excited to share with you guys my tips and tricks ideas and thoughts for these spaces and i do want to give a little disclaimer because I feel like it is kind of odd to pick apart people's spaces and be like, you should do this. You should take this away. I don't like this. But I do want to tell you guys I'm coming from a very loving place. I'm just doing these videos as helpful little tips and tricks for the actual person that submitted the space. But then also, I feel like a lot of these videos can help you guys out too if you have a similar area or a similar room. And a couple little random things. I have some new fun nails. These ones say Lone Fox on them. Can you guys see that? I put Lone Fox on my nails. And then the second fun thing is that the visual interest t-shirts are actually finally back in stock. Now your visual interest t-shirt will not have a smear of white paint on it. That is just my own. I got white paint on it and you know what? I'm living with it. But if you guys would like to get your very own piece of Lone Fox merch, including this shirt, which has been out of stock for literally like six months, it's finally back on the site. It ranges in sizes from small to 2XL. I'll link that below for you. But I do think we should go ahead and get into the first space and do not worry at the end of this video, I Will tell you guys how you could submit your space for the what would you do series on my channel so our first submission is actually a living room space and it was sent in by Catherine King and she's a 25 year old working for a marketing agency she says that her and her boyfriend live together in a one-bedroom apartment and she actually also sent in a little video which I'll play for you guys here hey Drew I would love your opinion on my living room my boyfriend and I have lived together for about a year and a half now in our one-bedroom apartment uh, it's been a little tough to merge our furniture pieces, our style, to make it feel like a cohesive space that we both enjoy. I would say I, my style is a little bit more on the bohemian side and his side, or his style is a little bit more on the mid-century modern side. So you'll see in the photos, it's kind of just a mod podge of different pieces, some old, some new that we've incorporated. And so I just kind of need some help like bringing it all together um, and making it feel more cohesive. So yeah. I love your opinions, and if you could help, I would really much appreciate it. So as you can see, first of all, Catherine, you are so pretty, by the way. Um, And second of all, her space is really, really cute. I actually love the rug that she has in there. It's the same exact rug I have in my kitchen space, but I have the little small two by three version. So diving right in, I do absolutely love the rug and the couches. I think that those are perfect. They should stay just as is. I think the couches are really great. They're simple. I first want to touch on the wall with the TV because this wall here just overall to me seems a little bit cramped. I think with the bar cart space and then the media console space, it just it seems like too much furniture is compiled there and from what I can see it doesn't look like you are like a pack rat or a hoarder of any sort like you don't have tons of stuff in this area so I definitely think if you were to maybe sell the media console and the bar cart which I know sounds crazy I hate I hate telling people what to do but I think if you were to sell those and get some form of longer console to go there it could take place of both your media unit and your bar cart you can use the top of it for a kind of like a bar cart style setting and then you can actually use the inside of the unit to hold all of your you know remote and your TV console whatever it might be and I also do think that the TV should be centered on the wall directly above the media unit so moving over to the wall to the right side of the media unit area wall I guess you could say that is the one with the sliding glass door now I love this wall however I do think there's a little bit of tweaking that you could do here as well and the first one is to add curtains above the sliding glass door I really think if you have curtains at the very very top of that door and have the rod maybe extend an additional 12 inches it'll make that window appear even bigger. I do think you should pull that mirror off and the little wall hanging as well and really extend a curtain rod almost across, like not the entire wall, but a little bit wider than the actual sliding glass door and have curtains hanging in those little sections there. It'll make the window appear so much larger and also make the ceiling appear higher as well. So now moving over, we have the wall with the couch on it. And this wall is great. I think that the couch looks perfect on here. This is definitely like the layout I would also choose for this space, how Catherine already had it set up. I do feel like the photo above the couch it's just like a little bit offsetting it just doesn't seem like it fits the vibe so I kind of feel like I want to give Catherine a DIY challenge because I did see that she created a DIY like little wall hanging which was to the right of the sliding glass door so I personally think if you were to get a longer wooden dowel and you were to create a very very similar wall hanging but a longer format with colors that are pulled from the rug and some natural tones as well for about $40 or so and I really think that that would create an impactful touch with a little bit of color as well 
and texture to the top of that couch area. Now, just a couple more little minor tweaks that I would do for this space myself is I would actually opt for a coffee table that was not glass. And now, Catherine, if you want to keep your glass coffee table, please, by all means, it looks amazing in the space. However, I do think just something with a little bit of a more organic shape would fit the area a little bit better because there are a lot of square elements throughout this space. There's a square media console, you have a square rug, all of your couches are very square and kind of angular as well. There's a square TV. So I feel like one element of like organic or oval or circle would really, really be nice. And something else I noticed about glass coffee tables is if you have them on top of a very, very patterned rug, it sometimes just looks too busy. You can see right through and it doesn't break up the pattern, which sometimes rugs with a ton, a ton of pattern, for example, they just need to be broken up a bit. And then just decorate with a couple of throw pillows that coordinate back to maybe your wall hanging or your rug. Also know that that rug has little bits of like an aqua -y teal tone in it. So I feel like that could be a pretty element, especially on your couch. And then it also has some rusty colors as well. So consider, consider consider playing around with a couple of those colors within the rug and adding them in throughout the space in decor form whether it be like vases or it be throw pillows or whatever you want to add Alrighty, guys so our next submission was sent in by lone fox family member connie and she actually needs help with her bathroom space and she sent along this video hey drew this is connie um here is the my bathroom this is what i mean actually my whole apartment needs help but this is the bath, this is the room that's gonna be the easiest. <laughs> I got this shower curtain and I'm trying, I want to match my decor of the bathroom to the shower curtain. Um, so I'm looking at like dark aquas and I might add in like an accent color of coral in there somewhere. I'm not sure yet. I got those bins from the Dollar Tree before I got the shower curtain so they don't exactly match but right now they work. Yeah, the biggest issue that I have right now is the, f the floor. Um, as you can see, the floor is really discolored looking and nasty. I'm gonna get some peel and stick vinyl to put on it, but I don't know, um, I don't know what to get that'll go with my plans for the bathroom. And the lighting in here is really bad, so I'm sorry about that. And you know, you get what you, you get what you can when it's when it's an apartment. <laughs> Any help is great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Connie, for sending in your bathroom. This is a great base for sure, but I totally get what you mean by you just need a little bit of help with the space. And I love your shower curtain as well. So we're gonna use that as a starting point and just make this into a nice little beachy oasis vibe. So the first thing about this bathroom I notice is that there are no windows. So you don't get much natural light in here. So the first thing that I would do in this space is to give the full bathroom a coat of white paint. However, because there is no natural light, in this bathroom you're not getting a lot of brightness in here so we want to create our own version of brightness using a nice white paint tone on the wall so i would go for something like a chantilly lace by benjamin moore or like a white dove i do feel like when you have those kind of brownish warm tone walls and you also have those warm tone light bulbs it really creates a very very like yellowy space also switch the bulbs in your light fixture to be more of a daylight color which is a super easy renter friendly hack because currently they're very warm so if you were to pull the bulbs out out and then put in some new light bulbs that were daylight you would get a lot crisper of a more neutral tone so I definitely feel like Connie's space is the perfect kind of candidate for peel and stick flooring because it is such a smooth laminate from what I can tell in the actual video and photos that she sent along so this looks like it will definitely take the peel and stick tile well and then when you are leaving all you have to do is peel it up off the floor and you are good to go so I picked out this pattern for you because I feel like this would kind of mesh well with the vibe that you're going for now since we kind of eliminated some of the warm elements including the light bulbs and also the wall color I do feel like we should add a little bit of warmth back into the space through woven baskets now Connie currently has these dollar bins that she said that she picked up at the dollar store I think if Connie was to replace those with some woven baskets it will instantly just make that look so much more stylized and overall so much cuter and it definitely goes with that beachy vibe as well now moving over to the toilet area as you can see to the left of the toilet there is a whole kind of blank wall there which I think this wall is perfect to add personality and I think that you should definitely do this through either adding a large printed image on the wall here or adding a couple of floating shelves with some nautical themed decor or just more area for organization. Or if you don't want to go through the hassle of adding shelves on that wall, I think a large printed image could also be really pretty, maybe leaning along the lines of pulling colors from the shower curtain. Now moving over to the side with the little cat box, she mentions that the cat box is definitely going to be staying in the bathroom, which is totally fine. That's a perfect place for it. But I do think maybe adding like a little wooden stool such as this one 
that I found online just to the right of the cat box and adding maybe like a plant on there or some towels, some folded up towels or a basket full of towels, whatever it might be, can add such a cute little vibe and also camouflage that cat box just a little bit. And then my final area that I want to tweak in this bathroom is the vanity space. So you have the vanity and you have the countertops, which we can't do much with this because you are renting the space. So we don't want to do anything that would basically harm the tabletop or the vanity itself. However, I do feel like adding a simple wood trim to the outside exterior of the mirror would just make the vanity section pop so much. And you could do this with simple wood, like a balsa wood, which is very, very lightweight. It almost feels like weightless. You could stain the balsa wood and you can just put it up around the actual mirror with just some peel and stick command strips or some foam mounting tape and easily remove that when you leave. But for the time being, it will give it a nice wooden trim around the mirror. The light fixture just seems a little bit out of place. It seems a lot longer than the mirror. So I found this one that I think is really, really cute that you could add in place of the current light fixture. And what is great about light fixtures and rentals is they're really easy to just remove. You just basically unscrew it from the wall, unhook it, and then you can um, rehook your new one into the current electricity. I feel like I talked a lot about Connie's bathroom. However, I feel like this space has a ton of potential, but it currently just kind of seems a little bit aged with that vinyl flooring or whatever that is. And then also the tan taupey walls with the warm lighting in there. So just making some small tweaks, Connie, even if you were to just change the overall light bulb in the space, it will really create a nice visual impact for there. It'll just give a little bit more sense of daylight and like there's a natural window throughout that space. And last but not least, we are jumping into another living room, but kind of slash office space that was sent in by Lone Fox family member, Sarah. So she sent along this video. Hey Drew, my name is Sarah. I am a 25, almost 26 year old mother of two. We live in Norway, to don't mind. We bought our apartment one year ago so we've been kind of like fixing it so over here i've just shoved all my plants as close to the window as possible we have a working space over here a little diy shelf up there i just feel like something is not right and then we have our couch and like the living room lounge area i really love our couch and then we have the tv and my little um, dressers that I just stained. I love your channel and I hope you're doing good and hopefully you have some little tips for me. Okay, bye! So Sarah actually lives in Norway with her husband and two kids and they just bought their first apartment a year ago. And honestly, congrats Sarah to purchasing your first apartment. That is absolutely amazing. And, and honestly guys, her apartment is pretty cute. I do love how she plays with color a little bit, which I think is really, really fun. So the first thing I noticed in this space is the yellow couch, which I love the yellow couch. I also loved it paired with the green wall. I think it's really fun and it's very quirky and it's just unique. You don't see this very often in people's houses. So I love that space there. However, I do feel like the living space, kind of where the couch which is could definitely use a rug to kind of consolidate this as a living space and then the section to the right of the couch more as the office space. So I think adding a rug under the couch is definitely the first move for sure. I actually chose just a simple shag rug which has kind of like a diamond pattern in it. I actually used this exact shag rug in a past room makeover. So I have an idea for the space above the couch. Now currently there's a picture ledge which has a lot of really cute photos on it. They're more on the smaller side. However, I think if we were to consolidate like the larger wedding photo that on the left wall with some of those smaller images on the picture ledge to create a gallery wall above the couch that would look so cute. And then on the white wall where the wedding photo used to be, I feel like this is a great area to then now add a little shelf where you can put some books or some decor elements onto there just to create more of a 3D um, design aesthetic. So not everything's just flush to the wall and it's just a picture. You then have like a little shelf there with a couple of decor pieces, knickknacks or books. Now to the right of the couch is more of like the office space. So there's a desk over there with a computer on top of it, but there is also a little cart that has a printer on it. Now I think that you should definitely maybe invest in a closed off storage piece for the area where there is the printer because I feel like there's just a lot of clutter here and it honestly just draws your eye to it instead of the beautiful couch and the beautiful wall with the gallery images. So I feel like having a closed off piece of storage where you can either put the printer on top of or the printer inside along with all the contents on the shelf, just put them all inside, store them away and have closed off doors so it just looks a little bit more clean. Now I love the pillows that she already has on her couch but I definitely feel like adding maybe a couple of more 
visually graphic pillows with maybe some pattern in there would add a nice touch because a lot of the elements throughout the space are currently solid colors in terms of the couch it's a solid color the wall is a solid color so I think adding just a little bit more visual pattern will just add a little bit of a spice to the room if that makes sense so pulling in maybe some more of those yellow tones the green tones even a black and also going along with the gray pillow she already currently has I think that yellow is a perfect base for honestly any color you could mix so many colors well with that space and I definitely feel like she has a very quirky element and vibe to her so I think any color would look nice in here now the last kind of edit in this space I think would only be to just change the light fixture if possible I'm not sure if it is possible however I know that she owns this apartment so investing in maybe fixing that light fixture and adding something like more of a pendant light can also really designate that area to just be a nice living space so I found this simple one from Ikea which I love it adds a nice natural element it adds some texture and I also just love the kind of rattan woven vibe to it now the wall across from the couch has the TV it's on top of two dressers there's some shelving there and honestly I don't really have much to say about this I was trying to think if I would change anything and I really don't think I would I do feel like maybe if you wanted to add a couple bits of colorful decor within the shelving system so maybe like a cute little yellow ceramic bud vase and really Sarah that is all I would do with your space I don't see much change in here at all but I did want to share a couple of those tips and tricks because I think that this space has so much potential and it's already like 80% of the way there it is so cute already and congratulations on your first apartment so guys those were the spaces that I wanted to redo in today's video and I hope that they helped you out maybe gave you some ideas for yourself or your own space and if you guys would like to submit your spaces to be featured on the what would Drew do series you can go ahead and email over photos like a description of the room maybe things you have trouble with the email is lonefoxfamily at gmail.com and a horizontal video definitely helps me so if you were to go just take your phone and film a horizontal video like this that I could also include in the episode that's just so much more visually helpful for myself to see the space and also get to know you as well and that was today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed this one um and I hope I wasn't talking too quickly whenever I start talking about people's spaces or just interior design in general I get so into it I'm like you need to change your wall you need to change it I need to be and I'm like what did I just even talk about? So I hope it was okay. And if you guys would like to definitely subscribe to my channel, I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. And I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.